Well, hello everybody, Mr. O here, and today I'm going to talk about starting with a plot for your comic book manga story. And for me, I use it for to help push me to keep moving forward. Sharing a little bit of my story and getting other people's reaction has been one of the greatest motivators. And I have learned that by having some sort of intro, especially written down, has inspired me in developing characters because right now, a lot of you are trying to figure out, okay, how do I design original characters, meaning characters that you created by yourself that could be inspired by others, but they're your own original ideas with their own backstories. So let me share um, my five pages, my plot, and the first page, as you can see, instead of having uh, black in color, I went with a blue and red uh, tri uh, type of thing um, because I was kind of talking about the Second Civil War here. Um, you guys probably can figure out where I was going there. Uh, the year is 2140. It has been 32 years since the Second Civil War. The war we simply call the Great Divide. The Red Confederation versus the Blue Affiliation with rumors of a third division in the shadows. The government never revealed why the war suddenly ended, but we do know that natural catastrophes around the planet marked the end of the war. So, of course, I took something that we all know um, when we deal with politics and stuff like that, red and blue, and um, so I'm trying to express something about divide. And that how we have to overcome divide that's important to where I'm going in my story now you guys won't get the answer to that because that's uh, 200 pages off but here's the next page where I drew um, you know my story is called Burlington Rising so in Burlington Iowa we have this thing called the H bridge it's a very small bridge but I kind of drew it I drew it destroyed where you can see chunks of it in the water and that the the Mississippi River has risen uh, where it's almost at the bottom of what's left of the bridge California crumbled into the sea tsunamis all but obliterated the East Coast and the Mississippi the mighty Mi Mississippi widened tenfold that means it got ten times larger in honor of all who died the Mississippi was renamed the Great Divide the United States, which now includes Neo-Japan and Northern Mexico, built their new capital where the Quad Cities used to be, making the city of Burlington, Iowa, a major port once more. So I took something simple. You know, we're so used to L.A. and, and New York and Chicago. But what happens uh, in the future? You know, what used to be small can be, become very large. So I'm reinventing a small, small city into a, a super city. Over time, Burlington slowly became a super city, a beacon of hope and unity for the rest of the country. However, with all things of the light, creatures who thrive in the darkness and on fear seek to extinguish it. As before, when people turn a blind eye towards the oncoming darkness, individuals must rise up to protect the light, to fight the darkness and the fear in people's heart. And you guys probably know now more than ever, uh, there are things, things that should have been in the, left in the past are coming back. And you guys, you can do the wrong thing or make the right choices and help other people. Be that beacon of light for others. This story is how I became the vigilante known as the Gray, one of the most despised people in the city, an outcast who wanted everyone to forget what my mother did to hurt us all, a story of redemption for those who feel lost and alone, a flame to drive back the darkness. This is a story of faith, friendship and loss and I, I drew this in marker first and then I did a digital part of the background no. 
Alas, this is a story that will witness the rise of Burlington and start with my death. And of course, I'm going to be naming my book Burlington Rising. And even though I'm not from Iowa, I'm not from Burlington, I want to do a story because I've lived here long enough that relates. And since I'm a superhero kind of person, um, this is going to be like a noir type story. So as you probably heard as I was reading it, and, and maybe it's only, only I am getting impressed with, with what I'm wanting to do, I inspire myself. I want to draw more, even if it's just not drawing the book, I want to draw my character in different poses, doing different things, and I want to start developing my background characters and using character sheets and into and then drawing panels and, and just coming up with ideas for your story. So what I would like you guys to do is write your plot down. A plot can be just as easy as five sentences or or it could be like five pages that I had, but as you can see, I didn't have long paragraphs um, on everything. I made it simple. And I want to have a variety of characters. I want to be always thinking that even though you were just seeing one kind of character all the way through, doesn't mean there weren't others in the background. And even the city will play an important part of this. So guys, hey, you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>